Hey there, it's your host Dan once again. Last video I replaced the tie rod ends. I had noticed too that the sway bar was completely broken. It's broken on both ends. I ordered up a new one and that's going to be today's project. We're going to replace the sway bar. Not too many nuts or bolts, just I mean the one for the end link here where it goes to the subframe. We can see there's two more 13 millimeter bolts that are holding down that bushing there. Well that was easy. I got the first end link off. Put a couple 13 millimeters on each end and it just twisted in half and separated. That was pretty easy. And the piece that was still stuck down there in the control arm, I just used a extension with a hammer and just pounded it home and that's free. It only took about a minute to get this end off. So I got those two bolts in the back soaking with some PB Blaster. With the help of a 13 millimeter box end ratcheting wrench, I got those two off. It didn't give me too much resistance and now I've got the end of the bar free. So now I'm just going to come in with a big long screwdriver and we're going to pry that bracket off. Well the bracket and bushing didn't really fight me. It kind of came off pretty easy so hey happy for that. Now this whole end of the bar is completely loose. Nothing holding on the end. We'll go do the same procedure to the other side. Taking a look at the passenger side you see the sway bar is not broken on the end but the end link itself is broken. Nonetheless, same thing, get all this apart so we can start the removal of the bar. Alright, I got that bar out after maybe 5-10 minutes. I had to put a jack under the control arm, jack the control arm up, but I pulled it through the gap between the steering shaft and the control arm. Pretty much pulled it straight out. And there was a little bit of a tug at the end, but once I gave it that little tug, it pulled straight through. Let's take a look at some of the old parts. You can see the threaded part of the bolt is pretty much just about disintegrated even like on this one it's gone down to nothing I thought these parts were going to give me a little hard time taking them off but they were actually pretty easy um, the new bar here I got from Rock Auto it's a Pro Forged it's about a $90 bar $116 to the door shipped there's some cheaper bars but since these cars are so notorious for breaking the sway bar I figured I better go with one with a lifetime warranty so let's get that bar put back in place We'll come in here and scrape some of that calcified crud off the mounting points here. Get that cleaned up a little bit. Starting to fish the sway bar through the driver's side. Once again above the control arm just below the steering. I'm not going to be able to film it getting it all the way in because I'm going to be too much in the way and I don't have three arms to hold the camera. Okay now that I got the bar loosely in place I'm just going to come in here with the end link and we'll just take the top fastener off. And we're just going to loosely put this in place. Let's see here, I'll pull all the way off from there. Add that up through the bottom. Now with the bushings, of course, you know, there's a cupped edge and one with a little raised part. The raised part goes obviously towards the bottom. The new bushing has a little bump on the bottom which mates in down on the subframe. You want to make sure you get that seated properly. And I'm just going to take a little white lithium, just a tiny bit of it, and just give a little bit on the inside make things go a little easier when I go to slip it together. Actually I will give the outside just a touch just so that bracket slips down on it real easy. come in and tighten up the end link bolts. 
I can feel it starting to, the rubber starting to compress. Okay, that should be tight enough for the end link, just so that the bushings kind of just bulge out a little bit. Two 15 millimeter bolts are tightened over there. And we'll go repeat this process on the other side. Put the tires back on the car, take it for a test drive, and we're done. And I didn't have to drop the subframe to do this. All I used was my two jack stands and my floor jack to get the job done. Come back in and retorque our lugs. Well, after that quick test drive, I gotta say, going around a corner, there's definitely less lean in. Um, the front end seems much more level. The main importance for the sway bar here is really to prevent a rollover, um, especially if you're going a high rate of speed and you have to make some kind of quick maneuver. You want all the stability you can get. And this sway bar is not only in like my Grand Prix, for instance, in the older Grand Prix, Monte Carlos, Regals, Bonnevilles. There's a whole bunch of cars from probably about 97, 98, all the way up to about 2008 that have this and almost every single one of them is going to fail. So it might be a good idea to check yours and see if, you know, your ends are cracked and it needs replacement. I saved myself at least 250 bucks by putting this in myself. And here's another one of the end links. And you can see how just worn that is. This should be as thick as the stud down here at the end. So everything is pretty much all the old parts are trash. These I got from Harbor Freight. They got a little ratcheting dealy at the end. I want to say a little set of these of five was I think 15 bucks. Um, phenomenal little wrench. You know, just a screwdriver to pry the caps off the bushings. Uh, wire brush to clean off the, the landings where the bushings go on and uh, just uh, a uh, three-quarter inch ratchet and a three-quarter inch socket to get my wheel on and off. That's pretty much about it and you know a little PB to get some of the rusty bolts loose and a little bit of uh, some lithium uh, lube on the inside of the bushings when I put everything back together. So that's pretty much replacing the spray bar on one of these cars. You don't have to drop the subframe on it. It can be done here at home. I just did it with the tools you see here and my floor jack and my two jack stands. So I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Hope you found the tips here useful. And as always, thanks for watching.